Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome back in our explanation of the uh, master, the topic of Niyya. We say that this, the majority of the scholars are of the opinion that if someone washes his hands, face, wipes the head, wash the legs, he may use this, this washing for wudu and the majority of the scholars are saying no, this wudu, this washing was not intended for salah. So he cannot use this wudu for salah because wudu on its own is an act of ibadah. Wudu on its own is an act of worship. So it is a condition, it is not a condition for the prayer, it is an ibadah on itself. Abu Hanifa or Hanafi school of thought on that side, they say that it is just a wasila, it's just the condition that is intended, is done for wudu. Uh, for salah like addressing here the school so the scholars are of, of the opinion that the wudu on its own need to have intention which type of washing are you intending to or which type of washing do you do for a certain thing so this washing was not intended for salah it was intended of cooling your body and it cannot be used for salah the Jamhur, the scholars, the majority of the scholars, they say wudu being an ibadah, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, in a narration, he said that the wudu can expiate some sins. And we have um, um, a story of a person who came to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, faqala, ya Rasulullah, أصبت امرأة في أقصى المدينة ما تركت شيئا يفعله الرجل مع امرأته إلا فعلت that a person came to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and told the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that I met a lady and I did all what a man will do with his wife غير أنني لم أجامعها other than only that I didn't do is that we didn't have, we didn't cohabit, we didn't have relationship or we didn't have any um, sexual relationship that happened in that moment. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam asked this person, Asalayta al-asra ma'ana, have you prayed our salah asr with us? He said, la, he said, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told him, im tawadda'i, Tawadda, make your wudu, then come and do the prayers. This man went and performed wudu and then he came back. And then after he came back, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, an ayah descended on Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam on this occasion. And the hadith, the ayah that descended in this occasion, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَأَقِمِ الصَّلَاةَ طَرَفَيَ النَّهَارِ وَأَقِمِ الصَّلَاةَ طَرَفَيَ النَّهَارِ وَزُلَفًا مِنَ اللَّيْلِ إِنَّ الْحَسَنَاتِ يُذْهِبْنَ السَّيِّئَاتِ ذَلِكَ ذِكْرَى لِلذَّاكِرِينَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in this verse, and stand for salah or complete your salah in between the time of the daytime. وَزُلُفًا مِنَ اللَّيْلِ And at the night, إِنَّ الْحَسَنَاتِ Verily, good deeds, يُذْهِبْنَ السَّيِّئَاتِ They expiate the wrong deed. So, the ulama are saying, this person, his wudu and his salah expiated his sins and Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam read to this person this verse and this person said, Ahiya khasa ya Rasulullah, did this verse descended on me specifically? Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, La, innama hiya amali ummati kulliha, it is for all my ummah. That if something wrong happens and you follow up with something good, the, some, the good will expiate the wrong, the ulama said, the goodness of wudu, because it is ibadah, something good has expiated his deeds. And insha'Allah ta'ala, we understand that the need of doing our acts, the need 
or following the uh, the teachings of Islam we are going to continue inshallah ta'ala after this wa jazakumullahu khair wa assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh